I have been wearing a tracksuit for three straight weeks. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time that you are joining us today. Um, my name is Amy, I make two or three videos a week, quite often they are kind of fashion beauty related videos but we also do just like to have chat. For years I have had a personal rule that I'm not allowed to buy a pair of sweatpants, jogging bottoms, whatever you want to call them. But obviously when the lockdown was impending, I thought, yeah, no, we're breaking the rule, we're going to get some sweatpants. And I was right, I have not taken them off for three weeks. However, amongst all of that, um, I also came to my mum's just before the lockdown started, so I'm here now. And I don't have a lot of clothes with me because I didn't really realise how long I was going to be here for. Um, I certainly don't really have any summer clothes with me because it was a lot colder when I left. And also, it's my birthday on Friday and so I just wanted something nice to wear for my birthday, to be honest. So, I picked up a load of stuff. Um, and the idea was to kind of try and make me feel a little bit more like a human being. We've got some dresses, we've got some skirts, we've got some funky trousers um the, the whole gang's here so my aim was like summer clothes with a little bit of color um that aren't i mean they're not jeans i'm not a maniac i am still sitting around inside you know but i did go a bit mad this is the biggest online shop i've done in a really long time um, I think just because I wanted to make sure that I definitely got stuff that I liked. So I kind of got everything that I liked the look of. And then I'll probably send a couple of bits back at some point because some of the colours aren't what I imagine them to be and some of the fabrics aren't. So anyway, let's crack on with the haul. I've got four dresses, so I think I'm going to start with the dresses. And actually, let's go straight in with what I think I'm going to wear on my birthday. Okay, so here we have the first dress. I think this is really sweet. It is a blue and yellow, like, and black and white, like, floral print, as you can see. Just, like, a really loose smock dress. It's super comfy. I think it's really pretty. Um, I like the fact that the sleeves have these, this kind of, um, what is this word? They're, like, almost a little bit frilly on the ends. I think that adds a little bit of volume to the sleeves. You'll see that, like... I like a bit of volume on a sleeve. That's a recurring theme throughout this haul. Um, but this is kind of one of the smaller cases of that that we've got. I like this. I think it would look quite cool with like a black leather belt. But um, I don't have a black leather belt with me. It felt silly to buy one because I have so many of them at home. So I was like, oh, I'll try a different belt. So I picked up this, which is just like a golden sort of chain style belt that you just kind of hook together but like it's arrived really knotted and I can't figure out how to get it out of that without breaking it and obviously I don't want to break it so I'm just going to put it on there we go so as you can see it's just like a really little sort of golden chain belt to be honest because the dress is so busy you can hardly see it I'm not sure whether I should keep this I thought it was just going to be really versatile and like really go with everything and I think it would but like I don't really think there's like much to it. I don't know, what do you think? So I think on my actual birthday, actually let me show you what I'm going to style it with. I'm going to wear this dress with these chunky boots which I love. Um, this black handbag with like a chunky silver chain and then these black sunglasses and I think I'm gonna look very cool and I say that like it matters because obviously I'm not actually gonna be seeing anybody but I think it will be nice to feel like I'm wearing real clothes when I go for my daily walk <laughs> I really like the length of it actually it comes down to the knees which is a good length because obviously you don't be worrying about flashing anybody and it's quite like a breezy dress so you've got a little bit of wind security there we love to see it. Right, the next dress I'm really, really excited about. I have actually already taken a photo in this because I was so excited about it. And it is this like off-white denim smock dress. So let's put this on. I'm going to try and do one of those fun transitions. Are you ready? Okay. Did it work? Ow. So this is another one that I'm super happy with. Again, I like the length. It's very slightly shorter, probably only by an inch or so. I think it's really, really comfy and wearable. It's very loose, um, so it'd be really nice for like holidays and stuff. And it's another one that I really feel like you can kind of dress up or dress down. Again, I think it would look really cool with those like chunky black kind of accessories or 
uh, you could add like a pop of colour, maybe like a red lip or something. I think it's really nice. Something that I really love about this is the detail that they've got with the contrast stitch. So it's like a tan kind of colour stitching all around and on like the arms and stuff. And I think that that's a really nice detail. Um, yeah, this dress is super comfy. Very excited to wear it outside. I will be keeping this dress. I'm really enjoying the smock dress trend that's very in at the moment because it's so comfortable but it really does look like you've kind of made an effort um it's just very like feminine I guess which I really like and yeah big fan of this dress so the next one I'm not too sure about let's try another transition did that work <laughs> this is obviously dress number three um I'm kind of disappointed because I think the actual style of this dress is really fun. I love how like swingy it is and I love the fact that when you do that it all comes out. It's just really good fun. But I really don't think this is my colour. Like realistically I just think I'm so pink that pink shades like this just don't really work for me. I need like a cooler toned pink whereas this is sort of verging on a peachy tone and it just doesn't really work for me which I'm kind of upset about because again I do really like the sleeves I really like the style of it it's so comfy so easy to wear to be honest it literally doesn't feel like I've got any clothes on and yeah so I'm kind of sad I do like it but I just don't think it suits me very well which is a shame um, I like this kind of tiered structure I think it's really interesting I definitely don't own anything like it I'm not sure how I feel about it like cutting you off here though I feel like that's quite a strange choice but I do like the dress I just wish it was in a different colour what colour do I wish it was in um you know what I'd love this in like an orange I don't know literally anything that doesn't make me look like just the same colour as my clothes would be good I'm running out of like transition ideas to try but let's try another one anyway um I don't know if any of these transitions have worked until after the edit they might look really stupid anyway this is dress number four the final dress this is from a concession with a new look called blue vanilla and I've never owned anything from them before so I was excited to try it out it is this really cute like sagey green gingham kind of pattern I really like it Again, I really like the fact that the sleeves just have a little bit of extra height. I think that's really nice. It comes down to a similar length again. Actually, I think this one is maybe slightly shorter. But again, just above the knees, so it's not too short or anything. The thing that I really like about this is this kind of square neckline. And I've never owned anything with a square neckline before, I don't think. These buttons down the front are fake. It actually does up with a zip around the back. But I think that's a really good thing because, well... To be honest, I think we've all been burned before by dresses with buttons all the way down the front. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of this dress. I think it's cute. The only concern I have is that I'm not sure realistically how much I will wear it. I think it's the kind of thing that I will wear less than the other the other two that I loved. The, bl the blue and yellow one and the white one. So for that reason, I'm not 100% sure whether to keep it or not. But I do think it's really cute. So those are my thoughts on the dress let me know if you think i should keep this anything that i say i'm not sure about let me know whether you think i should keep it or not in the comments i think i'm posting this video either the day i film it or the day after so i definitely won't have sent anything back yet so now we have done all four dresses let's move on to skirt and top combinations now there were a few where i bought them like as an outfit like with an outfit in mind and then there are a couple later on where I like just bought like just the skirt or just the top because I liked it so the first ones will probably look quite put together and then it will be less so over time but we'll see oh my god this is so cute I love it okay so we have here we have a skirt and top as I said so this skirt is from a concession again called Wednesday's Girl um I don't oh, come on Amy so this is the print that we are dealing with here. In my head, I think it was a little bit more pink rather than purple, but the flowers are definitely like a lavender lilac-y kind of purple. And then we have got like some pinky kind of in the middle of the flowers, which I think is cute. If I'd known that, I probably would have chosen a slightly different colour top to go with it, but I do actually really like this top. Again, we've got these sleeves that I'm really into at the moment that just kind of... 
they're just a bit more interesting at the bottom, do you know what I mean? They don't just sort of stop. So I really like this t-shirt, it's super comfy and I think it's a colour that I will get a lot of wear out of. It's the kind of pink that I like because it, you can actually distinguish the top from the colour of my skin which is excellent. As an outfit, I do actually think this is really cute. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, I don't actually know if I'm really going to like this. But I'm trying to show you how long the skirt is. <laughs> Does that help? It, it's a midi skirt. It comes down to like mid calf. Um, so it's a really nice length, really practical. My only thing is with the skirt, as much as I love it, I don't love the fabric. Like the material is not what I expected. I expected it to be more of like a satin kind of feel or I don't know just different whereas this is quite um it feels very staticky very thin it does feel like quite cheap fabric but that being said I love the print so much that I think that might overrule it I might keep it anyway <laughs> um I just think that this is a really cute like summery outfit very into it actually I didn't didn't really know how I was going to feel about it but I think it'll be cute um God, I wish I could wear this stuff outside right now. Here we have another skirt and top combo. God, new look is so good, aren't they? Um, so this time we have this kind of lemon yellow kind of colour t-shirt, which I actually wasn't too sure about, but I think it is the perfect shade of yellow. Like, it's not too bright, it's not too, like, insipid. <laughs> um, I think it's just really pretty and kind of summery. It says ray of sunshine. I quite often don't really like t-shirts with words on, but I actually really like the font of this, and I think the words are inoffensive so actually I'm quite a big fan of this t-shirt and to go with it I bought this skirt which I actually love so it is a wraparound skirt as you can see I don't really know why I chose that to be my demonstration and oh <laughs> it is longer at the back than it is at the front I love this it's so comfy and I think it's another outfit that really looks like you've made a big effort when actually in reality like it's super comfy it's just like well colour coordinated and it looks cute. I actually have a pair of like khaki green plimsolly trainer things that I could wear with this but I think it would just as easily go with like yeah like any kind of converse style like little trainers or even some chunkier trainers or like sandals or boots like I think it's really really versatile and yeah, I really like it. I also think it would look quite cute with like a little denim jacket um, or like a faux leather jacket if it's getting a bit cooler. I don't know. I'm a big fan. You know what? This haul has been really successful, although I think I've spoken too soon because from here on out, I'm not sure about how this is going to go. Okay, I was really going for something here and I don't think it's quite landed. <laughs> so... I really like this cardigan trend that's going on at the moment. I really like the cropped cardigan thing. I really like wearing cardigan, wearing cardigan as t-shirt, I was gonna say. Wearing cardigans like as a t-shirt. I think it's a really cute trend. So I bought this cropped cardigan, but again, I think we've got the issue where the colors are very close to my skin tone. I'm not really into that on me. Um, also, this button here has come really loose. Uh, like it's arrived that way. And I don't know if that's broken or whether it's supposed to be like that, but it makes me feel very, like, not safe. <laughs> but I wanted to pair it with, like, this a little pair of pink trousers. I just thought that it could be, like, a really cute, kind of cosy, stay-at-home outfit, like, colour coordination, all that jazz. I'm really, really into, like, colour coordination at the moment. I'm going to give myself, like, an 8 out of 10 for concept, but a 5 out of 10 for execution. Like, I think it's a cute outfit. I don't think it looks great on me. Um, and I think I will probably send both bits back. Again, like, the colour of the trousers just kind of isn't the colour pink that I think suits me very well. But I think I would try this kind of outfit again with like different colour trousers. You know what, I'd really like like a lilac pair of trousers. And then if this was lilac rather than pink with like the browns and the creams, I'd love that. Um, but it doesn't exist. So once again, I'm doing that thing that I do all the time where like I look at my clothes and I imagine how much better they would be if they were very slightly different and then I get annoyed that that thing doesn't exist. So we're gonna stop doing that. I can see what I was going for. These trousers, if you remember uh, the last New Look haul I did, I actually had a blue pair of trousers that were exactly like this. I'm obsessed with them. I wear them constantly. They're so comfy, they're brilliant. Um, so I wanted to buy another pair of those trousers because I think they look kind of smart. They're like tapered at the bottom so they're quite um I don't know again they're really really comfy but they kind of make it look like you've made a little bit of an effort like not loads of an effort but like 
more than leggings, you know. So <laughs> I wanted like another pair of trousers like that. So I got this pink pair. There were two options. There were two different shades of pink that I could have chosen. And at first I was like, well, I'll try this pair because I was hoping again that it would be like a slightly cooler toned pink and I just thought it would probably go with more that I have. But then just for safety, I also bought the other pink pair and they are, <laughs> they are pink. This is the other pair of trousers. I'm really uncertain about these. So they're exactly the same as the others in the fit and the length and everything like that. Um, they definitely are not the peachy colour that I don't like. But I think they might be a bit much. I bought these two scrunchies actually to go with them. Um, which I do really like. There's, they've kind of got like these pink flowers on and green leaves and there's one with like a black base and one with a white base. I've been wearing scrunchies a lot recently. I've been trying to use them instead of hair bands because I think they're better for your hair and I'm really trying to grow my hair out. Um, yeah, so that's the trousers. Again, they're like elasticated. They've got elastic around the back so they're super, super comfy. Um, I just can't figure out how much wear I'm going to get out of these and something about the colour makes me think that they resemble pyjama trousers. And now let's address the elephant in the room, this t-shirt. <laughs> I love it. I did say, I did warn you about the sleeve situation. I think this is a really fun t-shirt. Again, this is a running theme here. It's something that doesn't feel any different to wearing a normal white t-shirt, but suddenly I look like I am in an 80s music video. <laughs> in this outfit no yeah I don't know I just think it's really cute obviously it's got this kind of netting on the sleeves I just think it's very like playful <laughs> is that the right word you know what I'm trying to say like it's just a little bit more interesting I think it's cool I think it's good for like jeans and a nice top when you want something a little bit more like out there I guess I don't know it's very on trend isn't it and at the end of the day it's a white t-shirt so it goes with near enough everything on that theme, <laughs> I'm now going to try on a couple of skirts that I got. I'm going to keep this t-shirt on, but this t-shirt isn't really what I'd wear them with normally. But it's a white t-shirt, so. Okay, next we have another midi. This one is leopard print. I actually really like this. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because the leopard print's quite big. But I like it, and the reason I like it, it's like a satin kind of t feel. Um, and I like the fact that the base of it is like it goes between like tan and white and tan again like I like the fact that it's not just one block colour I think that makes it look really like interesting and different and I think it kind of ties in the white t-shirt not that I'd necessarily wear it with a white t-shirt I have actually tried this on I realised that when I un when I like got all this stuff out of the bag I tried this on with I was gonna say a band t-shirt but let's be real it's a Justin Bieber t-shirt <laughs> Um, and I actually posted a picture of that on Instagram, so I'll post it here because I think that's what I'd style it with like that handbag and that kind of t-shirt, some boots, whatever. But I have just realised that it's got this weird mark on it that is nothing to do with me. It looks like, I'll show you. Can you see that? Like there? It looks almost like it's been laid down when some sort of dye is still wet or something um, and it's like transferred. So I think because of that I might have to send this back because like I think it's actually quite obvious when you look at it in person and I don't really want a skirt that's like misprinted. I don't know but maybe I'll repurchase it because I do actually really like it. We have two more items. The next one is another satin bias cut midi skirt so here we have this like ice blue kind of color skirt wow this outfit is giving me elsa vibes <laughs> it's something to do with the sleeves and the color of the skirt together but again really comfy it's another like elasticated one which is really nice um i think it would go with a lot to be honest i bought this skirt for 2018 Amy because when I first got really into midi skirts and I had a couple of these like satin bias cut midi skirts from New Look and I loved them but all I wanted was one that was this colour and I could not for the life of me find it. I wanted one this colour and I wanted one emerald green um, and I couldn't find it so when I saw this on the website I thought oh my god I've got to have it. Now I don't really know how often I'm gonna wear this although actually you know what, I have honestly just forgotten what it's like to like 
put outfits together to wear outside. So what the hell am I talking about? I think I'll wear this a lot. Like just casually with a t-shirt and some boots or some trainers. What am I talking about? I really like this skirt. I really like this skirt. And the last top. Let me show you the top before I put it on. So I have this top with organza sleeves. I love the organza sleeve trend. Um, and I was going to wear this. I like my kind of plan was to wear it with the skirt. But you can kind of see that they're actually not really the same colour. The top's a lot more green. On the website the top is written as grey. But it is not grey. It is like this kind of sea sea green blue kind of colour um which I thought it was from the picture but then it said grey so I kind of took a bit of a risk but I do really like the top so I'm gonna put it on and put back on my beloved jogging bottoms <laughs> okay here we have the last top um you might recognize this top actually because I wore it in a video that I filmed last week I've been waiting to film this haul for so long um and I had two particular comments on that video about the way that I looked in the video and one of them said that I looked like a fairy and the other one said that this top made me look like Cinderella. So I'm going to take both of those things as a gigantic compliment and say that if you too would like to look like a fairy or like Cinderella then you can buy this t-shirt. I think the only thing with organza sleeves is that they're really, like they're definitely more itchy than your standard sleeve. But that being said, I do like the fact that this top is a little bit more kind of it's got a little bit more of a peplum style to it so it's a bit more relaxed whereas a lot of tops that I've seen with organza sleeves are then very like skin tight and I think it's like quite a big contrast whereas with this I don't know I feel like it's just a lot more casual <sighs> I can't say it goes very well with my sweatpants jogging bottoms but we'll let that slide <laughs> so that is the final piece of all I think order has been restored <laughs> that was really fun actually i enjoyed that that's probably the biggest haul i've ever done i feel like i've been filming for ages i need to go and have lunch i'm absolutely starving i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you like the clothes that i've got let me know whether you think i should keep the bits that i said i wasn't sure about in the comments give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will make more like fashion styling kind of videos hauls that kind of thing if you enjoy them um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in a couple of days.